Hi, Yoram again, and this time I'm going to show you things you can do with Stream Deck that you cannot simply do with OBS by using your mouse. Up until now, I used Stream Deck or showed you how to use Stream Deck just to do certain things within OBS, but with the convenience of this panel that is external to your computer, has logos on it, and you don't have to have uh, OBS as an active window and on top of the screen. But this time I'm going to show you things that even if you had OBS on the top of the screen, you will not be able to do with just one mouse click. Stick with me. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder. And if you haven't seen the video about folder, then it's going to be up there in the corner, uh, a link to that video and see how to create folders and uh, multiply the number of buttons that you have. So I'm going to create a folder here uh, simply by dragging folder to one of these buttons here. And I'm going to go inside and now inside I can actually start creating different functions. Now you're used to the uh, all the uh, OBS functionality that you see here and that is changing a scene. Now changing a scene is like a button. You can decide which scene you want to get and like a button you're going to go to that scene. Press that button again and you're still in that scene you would have to press another button that sends you to another scene to take you to another scene. And, and I'm making this distinction between a button and a switch. So think about a button as something that you pressed it, it starts something, it does that thing, but it will do it over and over again as many times as you would click that button. A switch has two different settings. And now we're going to do a few other things that are more than buttons. So uh, a button would be, for example, changing a scene. If I put a scene here, then it asks which scene do you want to go to? And I'm going to say, well, take me to the left scene. And then on the next one, I'm going to put another scene. And on this one, I'm going to say, take me to the right scene. And if I click on the left one, it's taking me to what I call the left scene. If I click on the right one, it takes me to the right scene. If I click again on the right one, nothing happens because it's a button. On the other hand, if I use, let me go back to uh, yet another, the regular scene that I use, and I'm going to go back up and now back into this. Uh, this is the folder that I created just for this video. Okay, the next one is going to be a source. Source is a switch. And when I say it's a switch, it's because it has two modes. It, is, it can be on or it can be off. If it is on, it will do something. It will enable that specific, uh, specific action or, or specific source. Uh, and if it's off, it will disable it. So for example, we have the logo scene here in OBS and you can see that it's on. If I click on the, the eye, now it's going to be off. So I'm choosing that and as it turns out, that was the default. That was the first thing that, that came up here, but I could use anything else. So this is the logo that I have here and you can see that it is either on or it is going to be off. These are the two modes. The reason I have uh, both here is so can I, can I can actually put different logos or different icons so the button is going to look differently uh, as I press on the different ones, uh, as, I, as I press it on and off. But essentially it turns it on and off and so if I click on this, uh, on this button, you can see the logo comes off now the logo comes on. This is a switch. Okay, I'm going to do something else here, and that is I'm going to create a, and now we're going into the Stream Deck group, and I'm going to take multi-action. Multi-action is something that's really cool, and this is something that you cannot simply do with OBS by clicking one mouse button or, or on one place. This is going to create several things, and what we can say here is that we want to, for example, um, I will choose another uh, scene here. Uh, let's say that I'm taking the, uh, 
this one. And what I want to do is, uh, let's see what my options are. I'm going to uh, change a scene, or actually, I'm going to bring one logo, and then I'm going to uh, take it out, or something like this. So this is going to be a multi-action. We already selected the multi-action, and now, as soon as I got into the multi-action, again, I go back up. This is my multi-action. As soon as I get back in here, I can actually start loading it with actions that will take place every time that I press. I can even put a delay between them so that not everything is going to happen at the same time. So let's do this. Uh, let's select a source. And the source is going to be the logo scene. And this time, it's not just a switch inside, but it actually, you have to determine whether you're going to activate or deactivate. So we're going to say activate logo scene, and in logo scene, we have this. The next is we're going to put a delay here. And the delay is going to be 1000 milliseconds. That would be one second. Uh, how about if we make it two seconds? Two seconds would be a little more uh, visible to us. The next one is going to be once again the same source. I'm going to take the uh, OBS uh, Studio logo scene, but this time I'm going to deactivate it. So now I'm back at my scene one, which uh, as you notice, the sources, I chose them from scene one, main. This is the one that we're looking at. And what we have is activate the source, activate logo scene which is what you saw in the corner right here this was the logo scene then we have two second delay and then we have deactivate from scene one the logo scene okay let's see if it works i'm clicking it logo showed up two seconds later logo went out let's do it again click on it logo shows up Logo goes out after two seconds. This is how you have multi-actions. You can have a whole bunch of things in multi-actions. You can change to another scene and add something and remove something. I don't know if there is a limitation of how long this can be, but uh, I have not yet encountered too long of uh, a uh, an operation here or, or too many uh, actions that I wanted to do. This is the multi uh, this is the, uh, where is it? Uh, the multi-action button, but now we're go going to do a multi-action switch. And the way multi-action switch works is, it's as simple as that. There is a mode one and a mode two. And what you can do is just determine what you're going to bring up in mode one and what you're going to bring up or what's going to happen in mode two. So essentially it's exactly the same as the button, except that you have an on and you have an off. So you create two lists, and of course you can have two different icons for them, and by the way, as you click between the icons, you also change between the two lists. So this is going to be the list for activating, and once again, what I can do here is I'm just going to bring a source, and the source is going to be, I'm still in the scene that you're seeing right now, uh, we're going to bring the logo scene, um, I actually have the live here, so let's add one more thing. Uh, we're going to create another source, bring the source here, and the second source, activate number one, and we're going to bring the live icon that I have. Let's do another one, another source, and let's see, we're still in scene one, we're activating. In fact, what we'll do here is we're going to deactivate, but not the logo scene. In fact, what we're going to change is the, uh, let's see, I have the YoramSolomon.com uh, that appears uh, on, the, uh, on the screen. So when the first time we press it or activating it or on, it's going to activate the logo scene. You're going to see the logo. Activate the live. I have a little live icon. And deactivate Yoram Solomon. When I press it a second time, so deactivate it, what I will do is, let's go back to source, and we're going to deactivate the logo scene, another source, we're going to deactivate the live, and another source, we're going to activate this time 
theyoramsolomon.com. Now, here's an important note. You don't have to have the exact opposite on the on versus off. You, you can do completely different things every time you press it. This is just what I did in this example. So now I'm going to go back up. I have this on off. The first time I'm going to press, DIY appears, live appears. Yoram Solomon disappears, but since it wasn't here, then, then you didn't see it. Remember that the actions are actually now not changing on off, not, not toggling between uh, the uh, that source being on or off, visible or invisible. It's actually you're specifically saying activate or deactivate. Press it a second time. Both of them disappear. YoramSolomon.com appears. Press it one more time. These two appear, the third one disappears. So essentially, if I wanted to do that manually, I would have to go to my OBS uh, panel and I'm going to have to click one, two, and three to achieve what I did with just one button. And now I'm going to press that button. Nothing happens, this is interesting, nothing happens. The reason nothing happens is because I was deactivating, which was doing exactly the same thing. Next time I'm going to press, this is what's going to happen. And you could see how they changed here. Let me do it one more time. And I want you to pay attention to the little eye indicators here and see what this button does. I'm pressing the button. One, two, three. Three actions took place. Again, I can put some delay between them uh, to determine. So if I went back here and said, you know what, I want the Yoram to have some delay before that happens. So I'm going to squeeze a delay in between, uh, maybe put uh, three seconds this time, 3000 milliseconds would be three seconds. And now when I'm going to press it, one, two, look at this. It takes three seconds before this disappears. One, two, and immediately appears. Why? Because here I did not put that delay. I recorded this video for you based on what currently exists and what I know right now. But things change, new technology, new products, new software versions, new ideas that I get, some of them from viewers like you. If you want to be informed when I release new videos with new or updated content, subscribe to this channel and get notified when I release them. Oh, and you can also like this video. Also, check out my resources for speakers like you who want to do things yourself at thediyspeaker.com.